means that members of Parliament will have a time horizon of over four years during which to provide some real impetus. We'll be doing this in terms of monitoring, and that's why I'm proposing a scoreboard we can refer to using a benchmarking system to reflect a whole range of European and national goals. There'll be an annual digital summit to give us an annual forum to focus our efforts and help develop this uh, infinitely wide range of opportunities open to us today which are part and parcel of the digital revolution. I'll leave it there and thank you again everybody. Thank you very much. Now our colleague Valia has the floor. <laughs> well, thank you, Chair. First of all, I would like to congratulate uh, the rapporteur, Mrs. Del Castillo, for her work and the progress she managed to achieve over on the 300 amendments that were submitted in such a short period of time. Uh, it was important, I think, to reach good compromise amendments and ensure a swift voting committee tomorrow to send a clear-cut, coherent and concise message to the Commission. Uh, it is an important report, um, but I am concerned, however, that um, um, the strategies um, we are um, foreseeing through this one not to be transformed into simple wish lists by including too many objectives that will not live up to the expectations. Um, now I must say I am satisfied with the compromise amendments since in my opinion they give a balanced reflection of the amendments tabled. Um, I salute the fact that uh, my suggestion for uh, revising the universal service approach to ensuring 100% broad broadband coverage for European citizens has been taken into consideration. As pointed out in Compromise Amendment 5, the commitment to universal broadband coverage should not impose additional burdens on consumers and operators. Thus, it is important to make sure that public funds used for this purpose do not crowd out private investments and do not distort competition, especially in the already competitive and innovative parts of the market. Secondly, um, I welcome the fact that in addition to putting citizens at the core of uh, ICT policies and empowering them by promoting e-skills and inclusive digital society, the compromise puts more em emphasis on uh, competition in both ICT services and infrastructures, including mobile, cable and telecom, for the benefit of consumers as well as businesses. Um, moreover, I welcome the developments on the content aspect. Whereas in the initial report there was almost no reference to the content industry, now the importance of content for ICT and the European economy more broadly is acknowledged. Uh, also the compromise strikes a balance between the rights of consumers to access content and the net neutrality provisions on the one hand, and the rights of content producers and copyright holders on the other hand. However, there is no reference to the differences between the content industries, which are significant and make the application of a uniform one-size-fits-all solution to the issue of uh, copyright extremely difficult. With regard to the digital dividend, um, I'm satisfied with the emphasis on the timely and coordinated reallocation of spectrum. In this regard, I consider that a coordinated approach at community level is necessary in order to avoid any harmful influence among member states and to maximize the value of the released spectrum. Uh, finally, I uh, regret that there is no reference to measures directed at stimulating demand for Internet and ICT services. So far, most of our efforts have been focusing on so-called supply-side measures such as achieving universal broadband coverage or ensuring appropriate infrastructure networks. While these measures are indeed very important, it is somewhat futile to con concentrate only on this. Uh, there is no point ensuring that everyone is covered by broadband internet if there is a significant portion of the population that is not willing or interested in taking up an internet subscription. In order to make sound policy decisions and regulation conducive to a healthy business environment rather than regulation that makes company 
company's life harder, we need to understand what end users really want and need. Um, anyway, I hope we will be able to finalize the compromise amendments as soon as possible, and in any case, I'm not in favor of modifying the latest version in depth, as I think the text proposed uh, was absolutely acceptable. Thank you. Thank you, Herr Kalfin. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I would like also to uh, thank uh, very much the rapporteur, uh, Mrs. Del Castillo, for the work uh, she has done on this report and for the very good cooperation we had uh, during the uh, preparation of, uh, uh, of the version which is to be submitted for the, to vote. Uh, of course, uh, as we expected, uh, uh, the only title of, uh, of, the, of the report uh, provoked a huge interest from different stakeholders, from lots of members of the European Parliament, and the result is uh, with uh, uh, having uh, that many uh, proposals for amendments. I think that one of the very good suggestions of uh, the rapporteur was to focus the discussion uh, and to find within this broad topic uh, the focus which uh, should bring further the debate before the uh, Commission proposes its communication. And uh, uh, it was a very good decision not to repeat or not to reopen issues uh, that uh, have been already uh, discussed and that uh, have received some variant, including in the telecommunications package, uh, etc., etc. So uh, the idea was uh, not to reopen again the discussion on, on these issues, but rather to ask for their implementation and to make the next step. And I think it was a very good, uh, good approach. Uh, of course, uh, the idea of, uh, of the report is to send a very broad political signal from the European Parliament, and then uh, we shall uh, expect uh, the proposal and the communication from the European Commission. Uh, which is supposed to come at the end of uh, next month, uh, and uh, we shall continue discussing uh, these issues in uh, trying to implement the concrete policies in them. Uh, what, uh, uh, we had several uh, important uh, tasks as a group of socialists and democrats in the uh, work uh, on, the, on the report. Uh, I'm going to mention just very few of those. Uh, of course, uh, we uh, were very supportive and we think that uh, we have to find the maximum uh, uh, impetus uh, for the uh, investments and uh, uh, developing of uh, competition on the Internet. Uh, at the same time, we think, especially when we talk about a digital switchover, that uh, we should uh, care about the, uh, the consumers and about the accessibility and the affordability of the, of the use of, uh, of, of Internet, because uh, indeed the idea would be uh, to transfer uh, not, only, not only businesses and public services, but uh, uh, a huge uh, part of the, of the public life uh, on, the, on the Internet. And uh, that's why uh, the point of view of the consumers is very important. We were uh, especially concerned with consumers that uh, uh, are, let's say, on the edge of the commercial cons uh, considerations. Uh, people with lower income, uh, people with uh, disabilities, uh, unemployed people, uh, people living in remote areas, etc., uh, etc., et where uh, it's difficult uh, to be based only on the, on the commercial consideration when developing uh, next generation uh, networks and when providing uh, providing uh, services. And here I think that uh, in the future in the European Parliament we shall have one of the, uh, one of the major discussions. Um, for us, like for many uh, colleagues uh, from other groups, uh, it was very important uh, to uh, guarantee the net neutrality. And this is a principle that uh, uh, has been uh, maintained in this, uh, in this Parliament and that should be maintained if we want to have uh, enough uh, uh, room and, and, and uh, stimulation for the development of, uh, of Internet. Um, of course, uh, we were very much uh, concerned uh, with the effect, I mean, the role of the digital technologies for boosting the economy, creating jobs, uh, uh, and uh, opening uh, much more possibilities to the, uh, uh, to the public. Uh, we were concerned uh, with uh, issues related to security, 
uh, a regulation of, uh, uh, and I just, uh, this is not the place to solve